it spent like more than 17 times the yearly energy consumption of an uh, average American. And finally, the amount of CO2 and carbon footprint that we produce by training this model and this big data is twice uh, the distance. If we drive a car, twice uh, the distance between Earth and the moon. So in all these applications, so if you notice, like we need lots of data and data is actually fuel for all of these machine learning tasks and in particular the model ones. So if you let me show you an example from object detection, this is a plot from Google AI. On the x-axis, you, you see the number of examples. As we increase the number of examples from 10 million all the way up to 300 million, so x-axis in a larger scale, we get on the y-axis like a logarithmic increase uh, in the performance of this object detection task. It clearly shows the importance of data for the performance of our machine learning algorithm. But there are uh, a few issues with training on very large data sets. The first one, as you may all know, is that training on large data sets could be very expensive. So let me show you an example. This is kind of an example of training GPT-3 and 45 terabytes of data. So if I kind of Google these numbers correctly, we spent uh, $12 million to train this model. It took more than a month on 124 uh, A100 GPUs. It spent like more than 17 times the yearly energy consumption of an uh, average American. And finally, the amount of CO2 and carbon footprint that we produce by training this model and this big data is twice uh, the distance. If we drive a car, twice uh, the distance between Earth and the moon. So these numbers are huge, right? The other example is that in large real data sets, usually what we care about is often underrepresented. Let's think of a self-driving data. Majority of these data points in this data set belong to these large classes of cars, pedestrians, and signs. And only a few examples in this data set belong to this most important class of accidents and crashes. And this is the class that we actually care about the most, right? And this is really underrepresented. So if we go and train a model, train a big model on the entire data and treat all these examples equally, we are going to miss this most important class of accidents and crashes. So the other issue is that usually talking about large real data sets, these data sets are unlabeled. So we use either crowdsourcing or we use automatic labeling, we use another model to kind of get the labels for this new data set that we, got, we have collected. And as a result, we have a lot of mislabeled data points in these massive data sets. So, and what happens is that when we are going to train a model, uh, in particular, think about a deep network that has a very large capacity. So we are going to overfit and learn all these mislabeled data points and noisy data. 